Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, Ordinarily Beautiful. So today I am going to be bringing you the second, I don't know if I want to call them like episodes, but the second video for my Makeup 101 sort of little thing. Yeah, don't really know what I'm calling it. Today I am doing the second video for my Makeup 101. So today I am going to be doing the continuation of brushes. Because last time's video was so long and I only got talking about face brushes, today I'm going to be telling you guys about eye brushes. So brushes that I use for eyeshadow, what brushes I use for what different kinds of eyeshadows, what each brush does, what or how you're supposed to use each brush. So I am going to be telling you guys a little bit about that today. So let's just get into it. Okay, so the first brushes I'm going to be talking about are these guys right here. Um, so these brushes I use for my eyelid. Um, and I'm going to be showing you guys each one, what each one does, and what each one is used for, and I'm going to be describing them a little bit. So this one is from Sigma, and it is the F70. This one is technically for concealer. But I like using this one for pigments, and the reason I like using it for pigments is because it does have more bristles, and because of that, it is easier to pick up the product and really deliver it on your eyelid without having a ton of fallout. If you're going to be using pigments, I would suggest to stay away from brushes that are really like flat because those ones have less bristles, and because pigments are so loose, just a few bristles will pick up a lot of product and if you don't have those extra bristles then it's going to have a lot of fallout and it's just not going to have anything to grab onto and it's really frustrating because then you get all of these pigments underneath your eyes and it's just really hard to clean up and so I like using this guy. I'll show you a close up if it... So that is what the brush looks like in a close up version. See how it's still kind of thick but not super thick and is um, narrower so it is easy to like get in the tubes that pigments come in and kind of just get in there and be able to pick up product without ruining your brush. So I really enjoy this guy for pigments. So the next brush I'm going to be talking about is this guy. This guy is... Ooh, this one is really good for your normal eyeshadow, not cream, not pigment, just your normal regular eyeshadow. This is really good at taking it and just delivering it on the eyeshadow without keeping a lot of the product in the brush, which is awesome. And one of the reasons for that is because it is so thin. It's really thin and it's just really good for delivering a lot of product. So it's, a lot, it's really flat, which really helps to grab the product in the brush and not hold on to it when you're putting it all over your eyelid which means that you can use it a bunch of times on a bunch of different eyeshadows without having to wash it every single time you use it which is great because I'm lazy and I don't like washing my brushes that's just me though the next brush I'm going to be talking about is this guy this is from BH Cosmetics and I love this guy uh, this is really good for um, just regular eyeshadows too, it is a little thicker and I feel like it's able to grab more product and deliver it on the eyelid, um, but it does have a tendency to hold more product in the brush than the flat one does. But this is what it looks like up close. So this is what it looks like up close. I don't know if it's focusing or not. But this is what it looks like. It's really, it's thicker than the last one, but it's really good brush for using all over your eyelid with just normal um, eyeshadows. So I really enjoy this brush for that. All right, last brush is this guy. This is also from BH Cosmetics and is a synthetic hair brush. I'm just gonna get this out of the way so I'm not saying this like all over, like over and over and over again. But all of my BH Cosmetics brushes are synthetic hair. And so I just wanted to get that out of the way and let you guys know so that I'm not repeating myself every time. Um, but yes, this is a BH Cosmetics brush and this one is different from the last one in the fact that the bristles are shorter 
and they're packed closer together. There's just as many bristles, they're just compact into a smaller, flatter space. So that is what it looks like up close. See how it is thinner than the last one. Um, this brush, these are really good for cream products because it has the density to grab the product and really scoop it out but then it's not super dense where you can't apply it onto the lid. So this is a really good brush. All synthetic hair brushes are really good with cream products and I really like this one. I really like short hair um, brushes for cream products because that means that it's a stiffer brush which means that it's going to really be able to pack on that cream product onto your lid. So this is a really good brush for that. This is the one that I use, but you can use whatever brush you have for that. So those are all the brushes that I use on my actual eyelids. So now let's go into blending brushes, brushes that I use in the crease, and brushes that I use to define the crease. Alright, so the next couple brushes that I'm going to be talking about are brushes that I use in the crease. So. My favorite brush to use in the crease is this one. This is from Sigma. It is the E35 Tapered Blending Brush, and it looks like this. So it's just an all-around fluffy brush. It's bigger than I thought it would be, but it still works really well for me. It's just circled. When I say that it's tapered, I mean that it comes to a point in the very middle, but not too much of a point where it's like a pencil brush. So there are tapered blending brushes. Um, are, have shorter hair along the outside of the brush and then longer hair towards the middle. And so this makes it really good to blend in the crease. It's really good at pinpointing your crease and getting the most color in the crease whereas still having some color along the outside of the crease which makes it really good for uh, using this as a transition color brush. But any blending tapered brush is really good to use for crease and just to blend everything out in the crease to make everything smooth. But love this brush. The next brush that I love for blending is this guy. This is what it looks like up close. It's just a nice blending brush. It is fluffier on the um, sides so it does, it's a more of a flat brush than it is a tapered blending brush. A tapered blending brush is going to be round. This guy is going to be flatter, but it has a really good um, amount of bristles that are not super dense, which makes this fluffier than, let's say, like a flat brush that I use for all over my lid. So this one, because it is fluffier, it's really good for crease. And because it is also flat, it's really good to be able to get in there and kind of define the crease instead of blending it all out. Tapered blending brushes, which are round, are really good for blending all in the crease. So I like using this for like my second transition shade color in the crease just because it is more precise, but it's not a pencil brush and it doesn't just create a line of color. It gives that blended effect which is really cool. So, really enjoy this brush for my crease. All right, this is the other brush that I use for not necessarily blending, but it can be used for blending. Whoa, product. But this brush can also be used for blending. It is like the last brush that I just showed you, but it is a little smaller. It's a mini version, um, and it's also from a different place. I got this from Benefit. It is in one of their palettes. But I like using this one for underneath my brow bone. I think that it just puts on the product really well, so I'll use this to highlight underneath my brow bone and in the inner corner of my eyes. It's fluffy and so it will just kind of put product there and it'll still give that blended effect which is really really nice when doing a highlight. For highlights you can also use um, flatter shorter brushes so the brush that I showed you for cream products that would also be good to highlight underneath your brows and in the inner corner of your eye just because it is very precise so if you do want a more precise and defined highlight I would suggest to go with a flatter brush with shorter bristles if that makes any sense. The next brush I'm going to be talking to you guys about is the pencil brush. So this is a pencil brush 
literally looks like a pencil. It's round and it's tapered and it does have that defined point to it. So with the tapered blending brush, you couldn't tell that it had a point. I'll show you. This is a tapered blending brush. This is technically the same as this guy, except for the fact that this guy is denser than this one. It may have the same amount of bristles, but because they are all packed together, it gives a pencil effect versus this tapered blending brush. But this tapered blending brush is really good for putting color in a specific area in the crease. So I like using this for the V of my eyelid. So it really picks up product and just delivers it in a exact area. And that is why I will always go in afterwards with the tapered blending brush to make sure that those lines are smooth because this guy creates really harsh lines, which can be good at some points, but then also bad in others. I will also use this on my lower lash line. It is really good at putting product in a precise area like that and it's also really good at building dark eyeshadows in the corner of your eye like the outer corner of your eye v shape area but yeah i really like this brush all right the last couple of brushes i am going to be talking about are brushes that i use for eyeliner and that primarily work with that this one is a flat top brush this one is literally the top is flat and the sides are flat it is a very flat brush <laughs> hence the reason flat top brush but this brush is really good at creating a line of color this is different from the pencil brush because it doesn't do crease so the tapered brush is supposed to be used in the crease whereas this brush is really good with eyeliner so if you want a defined line, this is really good. So what I like doing is I like using this with my eyeshadows to put on my lower lash line. This is really good. It does the same thing as a pencil brush, except it creates a harsher line than a pencil brush when putting eyeshadow underneath the lower lash line. So I use this mainly for that reason. Then there is this. This brush is literally called an eyeliner brush. This is what it looks like. It is angled, which helps to give a very nice, precise line. It also helps to be able to create a skinnier line than the flat topped brush. Because this is angled and because it does have a tip, it's really easy to use the tip in order to create that thinner line, I should say. Um, but this is really good if you want to create a winged eyeliner. This is really good at taking that and just giving a very nice pointed tip to the wing. This is also really good to use for gel eyeliners. So if you don't want to use an eyeshadow for an eyeliner, this will work well with gel as well, which is really cool. Whereas the flat top brush, I would primarily use with an eyeshadow because it is a little thicker than this guy, so it won't be it won't give a thinner line. So it'll be kind of thicker and not as precise and clean as this guy will create, which is pretty cool because this guy is like your one-stop eyeliner shop, pencil, brush. I don't know, something like that. <laughs> but yeah, I will use this for gel eyeliner sometimes, and I will also use this underneath with eyeshadow, which is really cool that it works with both. All right, this is the last brush that I am going to be telling you about. Um, this brush is not a brush that is typical in, in the average person's eyeshadow needs. I don't know what I'm saying. This is called a smudger brush. But basically, this smudger brush, it's tapered, but it's not. So it kind of is a flat top brush that comes to a point in the center, but not a super harsh one. And it is a flat top brush, which means that it is going to be a little wider, but narrow, if that makes any sense. This is really good for smudging out eyeliner. So let's say you have a gel eyeliner on and it's a little too harsh for you, you don't want a precise line. This is really good at taking that and picking up the product that you don't want and it'll really soften out the edges of your eyeliner. This is also really good 
for taking eyeshadow and putting it over gel eyeliner or liquid eyeliner and just smoking it out that way. So this is really good for smoking out eyeliner and it's really easy to use, however I don't use it as often because I personally enjoy a very precise eyeliner look versus that smoky, like smoked out eyeliner look that a lot of people will wear for smoky eyes. So that is this guy. Anyways, so those are the brushes that I use for my eyes when I am doing my eyeshadow. I love all of them. The brushes that I would recommend though as must-haves are, I will show you. So the brushes that I recommend as must-haves for beginners are these three brushes right here. So I would recommend that everybody have to have this flat top brush. This flat top brush is really good for just putting eyeshadow all over the lid. Very basic, kind of a necessity in your makeup collection set. The next brush that I would suggest to use or to get is a tapered blending brush. Blending is so important when you are doing your eyeshadow because it makes everything seem flawless and it gets rid of those really harsh lines that a lot of people have when they are putting on eyeshadow and don't blend. So any fluffy fluffy brush or tapered blending brush, any blending brush in general is really important to have in your collection. And then the last one I suggest to have is this eyeliner brush. It's really helpful to have an eyeliner brush in your set so that if you do want to do eyeliner or eyeshadow underneath the lower lash line, you can do that really easily. You can also smoke out an eyeliner look with this as well without using the smudger brush. It's a little bit difficult, more difficult, but it will still work. Then you can also use this for gel eyeliner and eyeshadow as eyeliner on your eye. And it also gives a very nice angle and a very nice wing if you do want to do that with your eyeliner. So these are the three brushes that I really recommend for anyone interested in makeup to have. But that is the video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this. I hope that you learned something today and I hope that I was able to explain the different brushes to you in a way that you guys understood. Please let me know in the comments down below what Makeup 101 video you would like to see next. Like this video if you like these Makeup 101 videos. Anyways, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys in my next video. Okay, bye!